Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ryan Nas, and this is my colleague, Denise Goldenberg. Today, we are here to share our work on the um, Find Multi Instance Operation of the Start Bibliothek to Berlin. We both, have been, uh, we both have been heavily involved in this project as main developers. For me, this was my major, my first major project after completing my apprenticeship, which has given me valuable experience in software development, especially in understanding how to work with Rufine and tailor it to the needs of a library as prestigious and complex as a Staatsbibliothek. My colleague Vene was uh, one of my key partners in this journey bringing years of experience in software development and in understanding how to design scalable and efficient systems. Together, we will walk you through the insights we gained and how we adapt to find to meet the library's requirements. <clears throat> Our presentation will cover the, uh, the key points we outlined in our abstract. This includes the uh, decision to modularize our developments the automation processes via CI/CD, uh, how we deal with external modules, and the potential challenges. So, uh, after an evaluation in Q4 2021, uh, we uh, made the decision uh, to use Bluefind. Uh, so, our project started at uh, January 2020. Uh, uh, and at the beginning, we uh, had two instances of Bluefind, uh, one for FEDRA and one for the Um Each project or each sub-project has one experienced developer, so we uh, got um, in some four developers uh, for StarbyCut got uh, additionally uh, two developers uh, which completed the apprenticeship more recently. At the start, we will take we train our further developers and integrate them into larger projects. Later in, the t uh, in this journey, uh, they entered a third experienced developer for another uh, sub-project named Cortega. Over all the time, uh, we interacted, worked, together like in one large project. Uh, a few years ago, we licensed the EBSCO uh, discovery system, um, and for reasons, it came to an end. So the goal was the, was the replacement of uh, the Stabitat Plus, uh, which is powered by EBSCO, and to renew the Stabitat, which is an OPEC, uh, and also got an own discovery system for the FED rest. <clears throat> um, before 2023, we give the users of the Starts Bibliothek access uh, to both systems um, by generating an entry page, which looks like on the left side, where you can choose to use the Stabitat Plus or the EBSCO system, by the EBSCO system or um, the Stabitat Classic, uh, which is in the, the OPEC. Um, by losing the option to use EBSCO, we uh, made the decision to combine um, the, the OPEC catalog and uh, the EBSCO discovery system uh, to one system and replaced them. Yeah. So, it is an. Um, it's a known secret with manipulating um, the core, new kind of core for us, uh, makes, makes updates or um, maintenance difficult or sometimes impossible. So we, tried, we decided as a team to follow the idea of new finds uh, to work in modules. Initially, uh, the Stabi card in the FED Recht system has various, very uh, similar requirements. So um, we developed um, all together in one module with configurable parts and named this uh, our SPB module. <clears throat> At this time for us it was the, a good solution um, to, to 
to build uh, the functionality into one own module, module and override in this module the basic movement methods and uh, classes we need. Um, and therefore, we serve two different projects at this point, but this, uh, this way to work becomes more and more difficult because sometimes we had to override the same method in different ways. <clears throat> so we needed switches to uh, differ which result should be given back. And by entering or in addition of the third project for stable discovery, it leads to a new problem. At the beginning, this um, cross Asia discovery copied the SPD module as its own and began to change the code of this copy. <clears throat> yeah. uh, so, um, yeah. we often have to make merges between SPD and cross Asia module um, because there are some changes we need or the other development needs, and so we have. To interact with each other and it creates a lot of work. <clears throat> so this type of solution becomes untenable. So for us, the question comes up: How to do we, uh, how do we deal with this now? Yeah, well, that's a great question for me. Um, since uh, Stabicard and its requirement were considered the leading system. Most of the development outcomes were present in both modules, such as the uh, login functionality. When we were told to apply the original language with non Latin character implementation from Cross Asia, we decided to create only one module containing the developments needed across all instances. And the same decision we made for the themes. Um, um, building on that, it became uh, clear that there still needed to be a module and a theme for individual requirements. After we made that decision, we started the refactoring process. We compared the files and functions in the modules and themes and extracted the common components. It turned out that the portion of shared elements was larger than expected. As a result, changes like the library account features or the real-time availability checks were centralized in the core model. As you can see here, is our um, structure like, uh, like the core module with the shared elements, extending find, which you cannot see, and then we have the, um, the instance-specific modules which are extending our core module. Because the requirements are uh, created by the specialist department, um, regular communication is necessary so the developers know whether changes need to be done in the core module or in an instance specific module. Changes that, uh, uh, that impact uh, changes in the core module um, have to be checked for any impact on the themes. Um, this must be communicated within the development team. Before every release, every developer should look at the merge request to ensure that there, that there are no negative effects on the instances. This also enforces the 4i principle within the development team. Modularization allows us for easy, for easy onboarding of new instances as only uh, as only the core module and the theme have to be extended or, or can be extended, making the most important functions available immediately. The Wolfgang updates are also relatively easy to handle as only the overwritten files have to be reviewed. This would be more complex. The changes were made in the Wolfgang core. Now let's talk about automation. Early on, we automated our installation processes as we set up a development server for each developer. This includes not only the installation itself, but also 
the configuration of the solar index or database connection. <clears throat> For automation, we use Ansible to create playbooks and Runback to execute them. We created tasks for each step to keep the process modular. We have tasks for rolling out um, config, the module, themes, full installation, and so on. The config task is used to deploy um, specific defined configurations or language files. The module, on the other hand, uh, clones the uh, git repository and arranges it in the required directory structure. This allows us to link each each step or, or that steps in tags, such as provisioning to deploy updates or full step. To we, we can uh, uh, so. To configure the instances, we use um, Ansible dictionaries, where values for the instances, for example, on server mode are stored. Here's an example of our discovery services dictionary with example values for the Shabby cat, like the theme name, module name, or covered uh, configurations. Due to database connections and API tokens, we have secrets that need to be encrypted. For this, we use Ansible Vault. This allows us to securely store sensitive data, such as Google token, and use this as variables. These variables can be used, or, or do we use, for example, in the config.ini, where we reference our Google token secret. Our playbooks can be defined differently, uh, can deploy the different instances um, just by passing into the extra bars. Uh, when you need an FE Direct, a FE Direct server, for example, you just need to specify discovery service equals FE Direct and whether it's a development or production server. Uh, as, you, as you can see, um, we use StudyCut as a default service and development as default server mode and for the Git branches. To avoid specifying these variables every time, we use the Ansible host inventory, where uh, groups can be created and servers, um, yeah, groups of servers can be created and va uh, variables assigned directly to the group. So, for example, you can see which servers belong to our development server group and which variables are used by these servers. Here you can also see that the uh, development server use development for the Git branches and as a server. We also created run back jobs um, where we can, uh, um, where the extra bars can be defined differently um, to deploy, for example, feature branches or release tags. This enabled us to use fully automated deployments on push events. So when we push changes to our development branch, the changes are deployed immediately via webhook to our central dev server, um, where our specialist department can review the changes. Uh, one of our requirements uh, was to show the availability of, for example, a book, uh, like is it loanable or where can I get it if I want to like to loan it. Because the Staatsbibliothek consists of two main buildings with uh, multiple reading rooms where you can get books or whatever you want to loan. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, to take a look at the Availability Plus. I mean, it's called AP or I asked AVP from Recovery. Mm. Uh, we, we had to take a look at this module. Um, what we did. <laughs> uh, AP themselves looked good, but it was integrated into the defined core of uh, Recovery. 
<clears throat> so we, uh, at first step, you extract a bit from the recovery refined core, um, fix some bugs that uh, will work with our system, uh, and build it as an own module. Uh, we also reduce at this AP module um, the sum of the number of solar requests uh, to make it on the one, uh, one side faster, and other, at the other side, reduce the load of the behind solar infrastructure. Mm -hmm. uh, to give this revised module back to uh, of AP back uh, into the recovery repository, we put it onto our own GitHub account. Um, this module now handles all of our uh, availability requests and forms the bottom layer. Um, this is the new one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, forms the bottom layer uh, of uh, of uh, all our modules from which we uh, made the following implementation. So uh, first, at first we had refined and then our core, and now we have AP our core and then the rest of us from our system. Um, by following the progress of refined, uh, we also upgrading AP refined version ten and uh, developed currently at this version. Let's see. Um. 2023, there was uh, the idea to group results by a single solar field. By researching uh, the web, we found a module from Ping, which deals with this request. So, uh, by, um, by using this, uh, we got some trouble with our own modules. So we decided to integrate the idea of Ping into our own module and not to use the thing by a module itself. Uh, but at the moment, the grouping in our system is not available. So, um, we integrated our, at this time currently, now it is done, uh, uh, apprentice into our team where she finished the apprenticeship because we uh, try our to, to um, give our apprentices more practical uh, knowledge. Um, so we bring them into our projects. Um, by working with uh, two years in this project, there was a lot of exchange inside this project team. <clears throat> uh, we decided to use one central core module. Uh, so we address changes by, uh, to this core module among each developer. <clears throat> and also the specialist departments have to agree together on features or general changes before we could roll them out on one or all instances at once. And if we got some bugs, we have to apply these bugs quick, uh, the fixes of these bugs um, to all instances in time. So uh, this concludes our presentation. If you have any questions, we would be happy to answer them now. We also have slides for our sources, and feel free to reach out with additional questions during this event. <clears throat>